Well, it is official. President Biden will run for re-election in 2024 with Vice President Kamala Harris as his running mate. The announcement came this morning in a video titled Freedom, which was released exactly four years after his announcement for the 2020 presidential race. CBS News' uh, Jared Hill has more from New York. Personal freedom is fundamental to who we are as Americans. President Joe Biden is in for another round, releasing this video announcing he will run for re-election in 2024. In it, the president invokes images from January 6th and takes swipes at Republicans. Dictating what health care decisions women can make, banning books. He also highlights some of the achievements of his first term, like putting the first black woman justice on the Supreme Court. Let's finish this job. I know we can. It comes as a recent NBC News poll shows that 70% of Americans don't want Biden to run for president, with his age cited as a primary concern. He's going to be 82. Uh, when um, should he be reelected? And he, uh, if he serves out the entirety of a second term, he'll be closer to 90. Former President Donald Trump, who turned 77 this year, currently tops multiple polls for the 2024 GOP nomination after announcing his own reelection bid late last year. Yesterday, he preemptively released a statement claiming he would defeat Biden in a rematch. We will together win the election of 2024 and make America great again. But Trump's candidacy also faces opposition. That same NBC News poll shows 60% of Americans don't want to see him run again either. Well, President Biden has also tapped longtime Democratic operative and highest ranking West Wing official Julie Chavez Rodriguez to serve as his campaign manager and Quentin Folks as principal deputy campaign manager. Folks previously headed up Senator, uh, Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock's campaign. Now, later today, the president will make remarks on his economic agenda in Washington, D.C., and then he'll host a visit from the South Korean president and first lady.